In education news, the A.E. Phillips Laboratory School, located on Louisiana Tech University's campus, was recognized as a national blue ribbon school by the Department of Education. NBC 10's Valerie Maravi tells us what this means for students and joins us live in the studio with more. Hey, Valerie. That's right, Kyla. Well, nine Louisiana schools have been given this recognition, and the A.E. Phillips Laboratory School is one of the two schools here in Northeast Louisiana. This recognition is one of the highest honors in education. I'm excited because my parents get to be on TV. I'm just thankful that I get to be a part of the school. The recognition is for schools with high academic achievements, with success closing achievement gaps among the diverse group of students in schools. Most of our teachers have a master's, some have a doctorate degree and special certification. Of course, our high performance, I believe they look at LEAP data and any performance data that's available and our school has been growing over the last few years as far as not only enrollment but also achievements. The K-8 through Lincoln Pierce School is one of the 353 schools across the country to be recognized by the U.S. Department of Education and the students tell me exactly what this means to them. I feel good because we studied very hard to get it. During math I work very hard. I like math because you write a lot and you have to sound out the words, but you have to do it by heart and you have to listen to them very closely. The teachers just bring all of this, they, they bring so much to the table. I love a good challenge and my math teacher is just amazing. Laylock says building a team among educators, students and parents is one of the main elements that contributes to the student's success. And they have just a spirit of wanting to learn and wanting to work hard, then the sky's the limit. Now, Blaylock says now their goal is to keep up with the great work from now on. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Valerie Moravi for your Arklamist News Source.